mission prep of San Luis Obispo has dialed up the defense this year. Now they zero in on Napomo. Can't spell Dave without the D. Dave Alley has our highlights. Thanks, Mike. You can't spell Napomo without an O. Two, actually. But so far this season, the O as an offense, it has been missing. Averaging just 12 points a contest. That needed to turn around for the Titans if they had any chance of beating mission prep here at Mustang Memorial Field. Real special night for me personally, had the opportunity to listen to my son Jared on the mic, the Napomo alum now serving as Mission Prep's new PA announcer. All defense first half, first quarter, Royals threatening, ball into the end zone where it's picked off by Corbin Mendez. First of two interceptions on the night for Mendez. Napomo D coming to play. Titans also facing a tough defense. Low snap brought in by Blaine Lowry, but nowhere to go. Yards and points few and far between in the first two quarters. Late in the half, Napomo again clamping down. Griffin Grosshart coming up with an interception. No points after two quarters. No score at halftime. Zeros on the board. Opening drive of the second half. Finally, some offense. Ball goes into the hands of Drew Harrigan, one of the best on the Central Coast, showing you why. Racing down the sideline for the game's first score. Royals up 7-0. Later in the third, Royals again call Harrigan's number. And this time, up the middle, finds some space, makes a little move, shakes off a tackle, and then takes it all the way in for another touchdown. Pitch and prep in control at that point. And the Royals go on from there to earn the victory, beating the Pomo 22-6. We have the victory. Mission Prep moves to 2-0 and zero in the Mountain League, 4-1 overall. Next Friday, they'll travel up to Paso Robles. Napomo drops to 0-2 in the league, 2-3 and three overall. Next Friday, they'll host rival Arroyo Grande. Reporting at Cal Poly on Friday, football focus reporter Dave Valley. Back to you, Mike. Thank you, Dave. Jared looking good behind the mic. Back to the Southern section and the Channel League, both San Marcos and Buena will be scrambling for playoff spots this year. A win tonight would go a long way for either side in building its case. Early second quarter, no score, not anymore. The home Bulldogs, Aaron Cesario, the short touchdown run, 6-0. Now Buena spreads them out for the two-point conversion, and they get it. Cesario taking the option pitch, 8-0 Buena. San Marcos scores late in the second quarter. Danny Diaz pitching to Nathan Jones. Buena led 8-7 at the half, and they go on to win a defensive battle. 11-7 is the final. San Marcos is a bye next week. Buena at Oxnard next Friday. Well, Channel League leading Pacifica scored early and often against Dos Pueblos. Just over a minute into the game, 13-yard touchdown run by Philip Kim. Dos Pueblos second and 16. They get 15 yards. Gonzo Murillo to Nathan Warren, but the Chargers return the ball over on downs. Pacifica quickly gets back in the end zone. Star running back Josh Joyner turning the corner, and he easily sprints to the end zone. 50-yard touchdown, sort of a huge game for Joyner. After a three and out, Triton strike again. Dominic Duran to Joyner, 21-0 Triton's mid-first quarter. Joyner had four touchdowns in the game. After Pacifica recovered a fumble, they turned it into points. Duran, quick hitter to Isaiah Dillon. Junior does the rest, 28-0 Tritons. Pacifica defense flying to the football. Day-Day Ipu says hello to Daniel Johnson. Day-Day wins that battle of the fours. After an interception by Joyner, Pacifica back on the attack. Duran to Jaden Ransom. He's behind the defense. He's going to win the foot race to the end zone. 55-yard touchdown. And then last play of the first quarter, Pacifica adds to their point total. Duran to Isaiah Dillon. Duran, a school record, six touchdown passes. He also ran for another score. Yeah, Pacifica is the number one ranked team in Ventura County for a reason. It's good to be a Triton. They led 41-0 after the first quarter, 62-0 in the half. And they win 68-7 to move to 6-0 overall, 4-0 in the Channel League. Pacifica has their showdown with Ventura. DP has Channel Islands next week. Well, up next, we're going to check with Senere De Los Santos. She was at Oxnard High School and then a dip into the Ocean League for Cabrillo and Pioneer Valley. 